Yeah, flash flooding across the southwest, and you don't need a lot of rain for flash flooding. I want to go over the ingredients. Why do we see flash flooding in the southwest? First of all, the monsoon, we have moisture, but we also have slow-moving thunderstorms. The terrain plays a critical role along with the type of soil as well. Keep in mind, when you have a monsoon, you have an area of high pressure that dominates the area. What does that mean? High pressure means light winds, so these thunderstorms that, flow, uh, that form in a light flow are generally slow moving. That's why you can get all of the heavy rain. Terrain plays a huge, huge impact. Think about this. You have thunderstorms uh, forming over the mountains. Where do these thunderstorms produce the rain? Over the mountains. Where does the water go? where it ends up going in the lower terrain. So all of that water that falls on top of the mountains then rushes into the valleys. The other thing you have is the type of soil. It is a very hard soil in the southwest. It's a soil that has lots of clay and the water runs off. I want to show you what's the difference between the soil, let's say, in the eastern United States and the Midwest compared to the southwest. Well, think of it this way. I have some water. Here's what the soil may look like across the eastern United States. It's like a paper towel. You pour a little water, what happens? The water absorbs. What happens in the southwest? It runs. And that's why you see so much flash flooding. And unfortunately, we're seeing the threat for flash flooding in the southwest over the coming days.